today is the day I go on a 12 hour road trip back to Michigan. There's a line of cars you probably can't see that and there's a truck with a trailer right here it's 11 49 tonight i know you probably can't see me but i'll probably just um put a text over this but um it's an hour in i'm in missouri um i got stopped by a cop like 20 minutes ago and he told me that i needed to sit and wait until a house passed that he was going to take up the whole road so I parked at a sketchy gas station and um, within the last 10, 15 minutes, I've had like four cars join me behind me at this gas station. It's been a very lovely experience. Benji sleeping. I know you probably can't see anything right now, so this is probably really a pointless clip, but I figured I would keep you updated. <laughs> this experience right now is a little bit like whack. Two hours into the road trip. I know I didn't vlog 100%. I showed you a little bit of me packing the car and all. Uh, so I got gas before I left, but since it's been two hours into the trip, I saw this gas station that's like well lit and it's not like off of a major highway or anything. Because I haven't hit the major highways yet. I'm in Missouri, I believe. So I felt safe here. I've seen like three or four cars and I feel safe and secure. So I went ahead and got some gas. Only when I hit Illinois, I don't have to worry about getting more gas. Um, but yeah, I don't want to sit here and talk a whole, whole lot. The reason why I have to be back is because of financial issues is that I have to pay my rent and things like that. School came in, it's in the mailbox and it has to clear by a certain date. The moral of the story is financial issues is why I have to go back and the reason why I came back to Arkansas was for like a whole bunch of dental work and all. But yeah, see you guys 
say hi, Benj. Ben just not liking it. Uh oh, road trip. He's had anxiety the first half, and now like the second half, he's just like taking a nap. And now he's like, "What the fuck's going on, mom?" I can't really vlog while I'm driving right now until it hits like six o'clock in the morning, I believe, which which is okay. So I'm gonna get back to you when there's actually like light outside and I can um, car vlog. But I might as well go ahead and put the car mount up. That way I don't have to worry about it later. That'd be smart. So I'm gonna do that. Let's do that, right? Right, right. Okay. Got three hours to go, brother. But um, yeah, I've been driving all night, literally. As you can tell, I'm now starting to feel the, the the quake that I don't want to feel and I don't have any coffee left. It's been eventful. Very eventful. So eventful I've like scratched a um some acne off my face. So you gotta love that. Am I right? Am I right? I had on jewelry, I just wasn't feeling it and I took it off. Um, I'm at a rest stop right now. I didn't, the building's closed anyway, so you can't really go to the bathroom there anyways. So, it's been very eventful, very lonely, especially at the very start. I ran into two cops, surprisingly. The first, March onto I-57 North. The first cop that I ran into was actually in Missouri. For 76 miles, continue straight.
not find a Starbucks to save my life. Um, all the Starbucks that are around are either like in Targets and stuff like that. So I've decided to go to a Dunkin' Donut. This isn't like an actual franchise Dunkin' Donut. It's kind of like owned by a gas station. So we'll see how that goes. I really have to pee though. So I might have to go to this gas station and pee. I don't know how sanitary this gas station is in general, but I mean, when you have to pee, you gotta pee. I'm also looking for like a bit of a snack, so originally it was supposed to be like a cookie, but now it's probably gonna be like a fucking donut. Either way, it's unhealthy morning. But as long as I get some carbs, if you know what I mean, it'll make me feel full. And that's what I need right now. I know Benji. I know Benji. You're so sad. You're so sad. You got little. You got little. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. What do you want to say? Yeah, the funny part is the Dunkin' Donuts I found was like 10 minutes out of the way and now it's like a huge line, but it's okay. Your message says, yeah, the funny part is the Dunkin' Donuts I found was like 10 minutes out of the way and now it's like a huge line, but it's okay. Ready to send it? Yes. Okay, it's sent. Can I get a large ice caramel macchiato? Anything else? And then can I also get a vanilla glazed donut? And then... Vanilla yeah, a vanilla frosted donut. So do you want sprinkles or a long donut? Um, sprinkles. And then can I also get one chocolate glazed donut with sprinkles? And a chocolate sauce with sprinkles? Yes, ma'am. Alright, anything else for you? I think that's it. Thank you. I'm scared that I um, scraped the side of my car a second ago on this curb. I'm hoping not, but I mean, if all this fails, it's my own fault because I'm tired. Turn left onto East Sunrise Drive, then turn left onto West Money Manhattan Road. the light. Use the right lane to merge onto I-57 North. There you are. Thank you Have so much. You too. Ugh, I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Turn right onto West Money Manhattan Road. Then turn right to merge onto I-57 North. Like the pumps look really sketchy. At the light, use the right lane to merge onto I-57 North. Okay, good news is that I did not scrape. I need to make sure I put my card in. I'm like so paranoid. I feel like I'm losing stuff. To merge onto I-57 North.
Hey guys, I just wanted to pop on here really quick and tell you thank you so so much for watching today's video with my road trip back to Michigan. If you enjoyed and you want to see more car vlogs, give this video a thumbs up letting me know. Or if you just want to see future uploads in the future, give this video a thumbs up. I did want to make a quick comment as well to the video. If you did see on one side of my head, hair extensions were sticking out and the whole entire time I was editing this video, it was sticking out like a sore thumb to me and I apologize about that. But I recently got my hair extensions done and whenever you first get them done, they're really close to your scalp and they're kind of really hard to hide. It's like one thing that I noticed and I was just like, girl, get you all weaved together. Are you right? <laughs> the links will be listed on the screen. I appreciate and love you all, and I am so, so thankful for your support. And I will see you when I see ya. Bye. Toodles. Bye.